So welcome back to the Flutter Blog app with Firebase series. In this video, we are going to learn how to use streams to sync updates in real time and list view of any data change in Cloud Firestore. So before that, I would like to uh, add one thing. In the last video, as we updated this list, uh, we were fetching all the data from the database. So I added one more blog and in that the title length was a bit larger. So this is the orientation it becomes. So first thing first, let's fix this. So what we have to do, we basically have to go to the uh, title and we have to add a property which is text align and I'm going to say text align dot center and that's going to align the text in the center. So this is fixed now. So let's work on how we are going to use a stream and stream builder to sync our of the updates in real time in list view of any data changes in Cloud Firestore. So for that, the first thing which we have to do, we in the last video, we created this get data function through which we are getting the data from Firestore and specifically the blo uh, blocks collection. So we will be replacing the get documents to snapshots. Okay, so rather than getting the document, we are now getting the snapshot. So that's a stream guys. So we will be uh, rather than using a query snapshot, we will be using a stream now. Okay, so I'm going to update this with blogs stream. Okay, so now grids method dot get data, then result will be giving us a stream. So I'm going to give, uh, store that in a stream. Now let's work on this guys. Okay, so we will be removing all this list view and updating this to blogs stream is not equals to nose. It, it, uh, this will be functioning the same, but if we talk about here, we will be using something called stream builder. Now this stream builder is going to take builder, of course, but before that it's going to take a stream. So let's provide the stream first. So the stream is going to be that exact one which we created right now, that is uh, blogs stream. So I'm just going to say blogs stream and the builder is going to work how it works in major, like we have context and then we have another property. So that's going to be snapshot in this. So then we will say return and the list view okay so in this we have this context is fine this is the snapshot which have all the data which the stream is providing so we'll be using the data of it so to give it item count i will be saying snapshot dot data dot documents dot length so in short terms we just have to replace the blocks uh, snapshot with snapshot dot data so this updated this one and this one and of course we have to end this with a semicolon and if i save this it's going to load and uh, hopefully it's going to be working so let me just set this up guys it's so that is it's visible and we are going to go to the database and we are going to make some changes in the real time so that we can see if there is uh, the updates in the real time to the to our app or not so yeah let's see so we have these three blocks right now the first one is dream travel location the second one is some random disc uh, okay where is the title this is the miami beach and this one is uh, sunshine island travel destination so we'll be tweaking them uh, and updating them so for some reason it's not loading let me see what's the problem so if we go over here we are calling this uh, methods i think we need to restart the app rather than just saving it Okay, uh, we should actually restart everything because we have updated a lot of things. So I'm just going to go and restart the app once again. And in the end, uh, guys, I, I have a bonus tip for you guys as well. That, uh, as I said initially, in this app, the images are not going to be something which is going to be taking, like, we are going to cache the images, right? The network images. Uh, to the local memory so that if there is no internet access still uh, the user can access the content and you know consume the content easily so yeah that's uh, something which we will be doing at the end for uh, once we get done with this so the xcode build is taking place let me see what's happening if we have anything which we should work on okay cloud firestore we don't require this over here and non-constrained camel case okay i think it's majorly fine there's no error over here okay guys so without wait wasting any of your time i'll be checking it out once it's uh, the build gets done i'll be right back 
okay so this happens a lot now <laughs> uh, i say like i'm going in. okay so anyways uh, the app is loading this is the splash screen guys if you are not aware um if you don't know how to change this let me know in the comments because uh, it takes time like it's a wide screen it's not a very good uh, user experience so i will make a video on that if you want so yeah the data will be loading now any minute sorry any second should be um Okay, let's give it a second. Okay. And let's um, be ready with our database. Because I think it's an internet problem or is it something which we are doing wrong? So let me have a look, sir. So what is happening is when we are uh, starting the app in the init method, we are init state, we are doing this. So I last I did updated this last time. So it's saying we get the uh, getter documents was called on null. So where are we calling the um, documents? So we are calling that in where are we calling that? So we are calling getter documents. Okay, it's just working. If I'm saving that, it's the problem um i think the data was not loaded for some reason anyway guys uh, we will fix this but right now you can see this is what we have now we want to make sure that uh, the updates which we are making are in sync with this so for example this is uh, we are going to update the price okay so mm -hmm. i am a company owner and i want to just charge people a random price to make more money so i'm just going to go and increase on my you know people won't realize that so but i do <laughs> it's working so if i change it for example let's make sunshine to fun shine and update that fun shine i said would you like to go there <laughs> okay so uh, as you can see guys it's working perfectly fine and yeah pretty quick what you have to do is simply um, rather than getting the doc uh, documents you just have to get snapshots and yeah in this one we updated the text alignment and let me give you the bonus one which is how to make sure how to cache this so we are use, going to use cached image cached network image package the image okay and we're going to open this so how this package helps guys is basically if you add this just go to your perfspec.yml file and we are going to add this save that and then come back and rather than uh, rather than directly using image.network what we will be using we will be using cached network image and we directly have to provide url to that so where is our image this is our image so i'm just going to remove this i'm going to call it cached network image hopefully i'm pronouncing it everything right csh yeah i'm not pronouncing it right okay so i'm just going to use this csh edcc okay cache okay so we, then we just have to import it and i'm going to say img url is it small image url is full yeah so it's done guys so what this will do is basically all the images which are loaded now they will be cached locally so if even if we don't have an internet access the user will be able to consume the content to be able to see images so of course we have to reload for these changes to take place and also let's uh, let's see if we are facing that uh, you know uh, the error again which we did face last time let's see so okay is uh, it's finally built and uh, one thing which i updated is this using set state so we uh, missed this and uh, because of this what was happening is the loading was there and the circular indicator was progress indicator was shown even when we get the data and we saved that to blog 
uh, stream or blog snapshot so whenever i was uh, doing that instant run it was being reflected but before that it was not so make sure to use the set state method and it will uh, get that done other than that if we talk about the local caching of image as you can um, you can see i am not connected to internet right now but the images are there and let me show you by closing up the app and then opening the app again so it's showing that and i'll fix that but basically the images are loaded even when we don't have the internet connection so this concludes our course and uh, hope you g get enough value from it and if you do make sure to share your thoughts about this course about how can i make things better and about the videos uh, make sure to share your feedback in the comments like the video if you do like the uh, the content which we share if you have any kind of thoughts how we can do this better make sure to share them in the, um, in the comments and subscribe for more and i'll make sure more good content will continue to flow and i'll see you in the next one